Testing, testing. This is the University of North Georgia's Fall 2018 graduation ceremony. Thank you all for coming.
Leadership is fueled by vision and passion. Leadership is service with empathy, creativity, and integrity. Leadership is seeking continuous improvement for yourself and your community. Since 1873, the University of North Georgia has prepared generations of civic, professional, and military leaders. Today, UNG is a leading regional university that serves students across five campuses and online with educational pathways ranging from associate degrees to doctoral programs. And as one of only six senior military colleges in the nation, UNG holds designations as a state leadership institution and as the Military College of Georgia. UNG's national reputation and student profile are growing stronger each year and we remain focused on student success and academic excellence at all levels. Across UNG, our incredible faculty and staff are scholars and mentors who inspire service, inquiry, and creativity. And resume building experiences help each student fulfill their potential. We know the value of determination and teamwork in and out of the classroom. And this spirit pushes our students to excel on the field, serve our communities, and explore the world. When the day is done, the real measure of our success lies in who our graduates become. Outstanding leaders for a diverse and global society. The University of North Georgia for the processional.
Please be seated. It is my honor as president of the University of North Georgia to welcome you to the fall 2018 commencement ceremony. On behalf of the entire community, I extend warm and sincere congratulations to each of these fine scholars and to all of their families and friends. Our hopes and our dreams are with them today. This is indeed a day of celebration for our graduates, but also for our university. As we begin our ceremony, please join me in thanking Dr. Kelly McFadden, Faculty Marshall, and Dr. Joe Chapman for the inspiring professional <laughs> procession. I would be remiss if I did not recognize all of the mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, partners, children, grandparents, other relatives, and friends who stood behind our students and assisted them throughout their college careers. Thank you, thank you for your support of our students. <clears throat> students, today is a wonderful day. Here you are donned in academic regalia whose design dates back to the Middle Ages and symbolize your achievement and commitment. The right to wear these robes is an honor that must be earned, and indeed you have earned that right. We are here to honor you with the richest tradition of the academic community, the commencement ceremony, celebrating the completion of your degree and the beginning of your professional lives. As you know, UNG hosts a special designation within the University System of Georgia as a state leadership institution. As such, UNG has a very strong reputation for producing civic, professional, and military leaders, and our graduates are well known as individuals committed to high personal integrity, civic engagement, community service, and academic excellence. I know that the foundation you have received through UNG will be a catalyst for your future successes, and that as graduates of UNG, you will add value and meaning to the lives of others around you. Congratulations on this milestone in your life. I would like to ask Dr. Tom Orman to please stand. Dr. Ormond is our provost and has chosen to work in uh, a different area on campus, and this will be his last commencement as provost, and we want to thank him for his service. <clears throat> At this time, Dr. Jack Broman and the UNT Quartet will lead us in singing the national anthem. Will you please stand if you are able? Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the light 
Thank you, and please be seated. It is my honor as Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs to join President Jacobs in welcome you, welcoming you to today's ceremony. When I reflect on the experience you have had at UNG and your determination to achieve this goal, I'm reminded of the story of Apollo 13. Most of you are too young to remember it, but perhaps you saw the movie a few years ago. Apollo 13 was programmed for 10 days, but suffered a system failure en route. Jim Lovell was commander of the Apollo 13 flight. He and the crew, working closely with ground controllers, conserved the crew's electrical power and water and converted their lunar module into a lifeboat of sorts, allowing them to survive in space and return to Earth. Lovell is credited with saying, there are people who make things happen. There are people who watch things happen and there are people who wonder what happened. To be successful, you need to be a person who makes things happen. As a UNG graduate, you have the knowledge and the critical thinking skills to solve challenging problems. You have learned the value of teamwork, perseverance, and leadership. You will make things happen. As the university's chief academic officer, I recognize the important role of our faculty in helping you to identify and develop these skills. I commend our faculty for their commitment to our students' personal and professional development and for their leadership and dedication to their disciplines. Would all the members of the faculty who are here today, including those on the platform, please rise so that we can recognize you. Please join me in recognizing our UNG faculty. Thank you. Before we continue with the program, please allow me to introduce the remaining members of our platform party. Will you please stand as your name is called? Dr. Mac McConnell, Senior Vice President for Business and Finance. Dr. Richard Oates, Vice President for Gainesville Campus. Dr. Billy Wells, Senior Vice President for Leadership and Global Engagement. Dr. James Keneally, Vice President for Student Affairs. Mr. Jeff. Jeffrey Tanowski, Vice President for University Advancement. Dr. Mark Spraker, Professor of Physics and the Reader for today's ceremony. Dr. Christopher Jesperson, Dean of the College of Arts and Letters. Dr. Sherry Hardy, Dean of the College of Education. Dr. Carol Adams, Dean of University College. Colonel Joshua Wright, Professor of Military Science. Ms. Wendy Hughley, Director of Alumni Relations and Annual Giving. Please join me in recognizing the stage party. Thank you. It is now my honor to introduce our guest speaker for today's commencement ceremony. A member of the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, Erin Hames is the president of Reform Ed, a firm focused on improving educational opportunities and outcomes for children and students. Prior to launching Reform Ed, Haynes served as Governor Nathan Deal's Deputy Chief of Staff for Policy and as Governor Sonny Perdue's Policy Director and Chief of Staff at the Georgia Department of Education. Haynes also serves as Commissioner of the Education Commission of the States. She received the 2016 Professional Achievement Award from the University of Georgia's College of Education in 2013 was a member of the 40 under 40 class by the University of Georgia Alumni Association and was selected as a 2010 Henry Toll Fellow by the Council of State Governments. Erin started her career as a public school teacher where she was named as her school's first year teacher of the year. She received her undergraduate degree from the University of Georgia and a law degree from Georgia State University College of Law. She is a member of the State Bar of Georgia, the Southern Regional Education Board, the Georgia CAN Advisory Board, the American Enterprise Institute Enterprise Club, and the State Charter Schools Commission Foundation Board.
please join me in welcoming Regent Haynes. Thank you, Dr. Orman, President Jacobs, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, parents, friends, family, and most importantly, the class of 2018. It is good to be here on the campus of the University of North Georgia. As a teenager, I attended basketball camp here during the summer. I missed a lot of shots in that gym. I remember being up late into the night with friends in the dorm like it was yesterday. 25 years later, this is a place of rich memories for me. When you look back in 25 years, I know that will also be true for you. And today is a day of celebration. This commencement ceremony is a recognition of so much hard work. It is also a day of appreciation as you thank those who have supported you. For everyone who makes it to where you sit today, a college graduation is a pivotal life moment. It's a time to look back on all that you've accomplished, and it's also a time to look forward, to dream about what you hope to accomplish and the kind of person you aspire to be. So as you collect your diplomas and set out for the real world, I want to stress something that seems to be getting lost for far too many people. You are stepping out into the world in a very special place at a very special time. In the history of mankind, our America offers unmatched freedom and opportunity. As we seek to better our nation through lives lived well, through community and political engagement, through doing unto others as we would have them do unto us, every day, everywhere, in all things big and small, we must not fail to realize just how much has been handed down to us. Though our freedoms are inherent, and endowed to us by our Creator, they are not guaranteed. And America's freedom has not come without great sacrifice. A former American president once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on to them to do the same. So many have given their lives in defense of the freedom we enjoy. Just this week, DeKalb County police officer and University of North Georgia's very own Edgar Flores gave his life protecting us. As you more fully enter the working world, I hope you will take great pride in our nation. That patriotism isn't a simple one that excuses imperfection. It's a pride that urges us on to a more perfected union. That pride has been the source of every defense of our nation. It has been the catalyst behind every effort to better ourselves and to more fully reflect our deepest values. Pride calls us on to virtue. Alexis de Tocqueville, the French diplomat who traveled to America in the 1830s, wrote, America is great because she is good. And if America ever ceases to be good, she will cease to be great. You have not only been blessed with freedom, but also with wealth and opportunity. Almost nine out of every 10 Americans have a standard of living that is above that of the average global citizen. What we consider poor in America is a standard of living not attained by most people in the world. It's not even available in most locations around the globe. Because we have freedom and choices and diverse riches 
and rights ranging from clean water and electricity to trial by jury. When you accept your diploma, you will join the roughly 7% of the world with some type of college degree. By almost any measure, you are wealthy. You have been given tremendous opportunity to flourish. And the question before you today is what will you do with all that freedom and opportunity? Remembering the teaching to whom much is given, much will be required. We are mindful that with all this blessing comes responsibility. And more than what profession you will pursue, I want you to think about how you will live and the person you aspire to be. For this is what we seem to have lost sight of in all our prosperity. The diploma that will soon be placed in your hand will open many doors for you. But as important as that is, this diploma will not give you that which is most important in this life and that which has eternal significance, virtue, faith, peace. C.S. Lewis said, education without values, as useful as it is, seems to make a man a more clever devil. My life experience bears that out as true. One big idea that guides me is this. I don't want to reach the end of my life with regrets. And today, I simply make that same wish for each of you. My hope is that someday you will reflect on a life well lived, that you will look back and see someone who did the right thing. So be intentional about that now. Make commitments and stick with them. Live with conviction and purpose. Pursue those things that are good, true, and beautiful. Work hard, love well, serve others. As you leave this place and go out in the world to make your way, I want, you to, I want to encourage you to put the first things first. For me, that is my faith in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my family, my country, and my professional passion which is improving educational opportunity for young people in this state. In the balance of eternity, certain things matter and others will melt away. And when I talk to young people, deep down, they seem to consistently understand this. Their lives aren't always perfectly guided by these truths. More people know it than live it. But most people know that certain things matter and others just won't in the long run. I hope you will be in the camp that lives a life that is consistent with what really matters. I hope you will spend your life trying to understand, value, and seek those things that neither moths, rust, nor thieves can take away. That's good, high-minded advice that I believe from my head to toe. And here's some really practical advice that will also make your life better. Living well has a lot to do with juggling well, juggling your responsibilities, your goals, and the various duties that you owe those around you. I wear a lot of different hats, and I do this every single day. I am a wife a mother of two young children, a daughter, a sister. I am an attorney, a business owner. I'm the room mom in my son's class. I serve on numerous boards, including the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia. It is a lot for which to be responsible. And to make things work, I have to pass on some opportunities, and I say no quite a lot. I have to juggle well and so will you. You'll move through phases in life, student, career, career and family, career and parenting, and so many other phases. 
and at each phase you have to forge the right priorities. For me, that is hard. I ask myself those questions often, and I do everything I can to live in a way that reflects what I know is truly significant. You'll arrive at priorities that may or may not resemble my own, but my good advice stands. You need to think long and hard about what matters and do your best to live a life consistent with that. You'll need to have the right priorities in all those different phases of life, and that means that you'll need to keep asking the hard questions. You won't be able to set your priorities on autopilot and cruise through. You will go through valleys so deep, you'll have to reappraise everything and make adjustments. And there will be joyful seasons, like when I became a mother, from which you will look back and think, I didn't realize how wonderful this will be, would be, and instantly your priorities will change. But through the phases of life and the highs and lows, take it from me, living life well requires juggling well. As I look out on you 288 graduates, I see so much accomplishment and so much potential. Best wishes as you leave this campus and take your place in this great land of freedom and opportunity. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. I wish you continued success. Thank you, Regent Haynes, for your message. Among our graduates today are students who have surpassed the academic standards as set forth by our faculty. And, it's, and it is my pleasure to recognize these honor graduates for their commitment and dedication. The names of these students are listed in your program and they will be recognized individually as they receive their diplomas. Will you please hold your applause until all groups stand? Will the baccalaureate students who are graduating summa cum laude please stand and remain standing? These students have earned a grade point average between 3.9 and 4.0 on a 4.0 scale. Will the baccalaureate students who are graduating magna cum laude please stand and remain standing? These students have earned a grade point average between 3.7 and 3.89 on a 4.0 scale. Will the baccalaureate students who are graduating cum laude please stand and, re and remain standing? These students have earned a grade point average between 3.5 and 3.69 on a 4.0 scale. Will all associate degree students who are graduating with distinction please stand and remain standing? These students have earned a grade point average of 3.5 on a 4.0 scale. Please join me in congratulating these graduates. Thank you. Please be seated. Members of our Corps of Cadets, who ranked in the top 20% of more than 5,000 cadets on the National Order of, Amer Order of Merit list, will graduate as Distinguished Military Graduates, the highest honor an ROTC student can achieve. Will the Distinguished M Military Graduates please stand and remain standing? The UNG Honors Program cultivates a community of engaged scholars who have demonstrated excellence in academics, service, and leadership. Completion of the Honors Program includes involvement in activities outside the classroom and service to the institution and local community. Will all graduates who are members of the Honors Program please stand and remain standing? Academic Honor Societies recognize students who have excelled both academically and as leaders among their peers. Will all graduates who are members of university and departmental academic honor societies please stand? Will you please join me in recognizing all of these graduates for the accomplishment? Thank you. We will now confer the degrees.
all candidates for associate degrees please stand. President Jacobs, I present to you the candidates for the associate degrees as listed in the printed program. Each of these candidates has successfully completed the requirements for the degree as set forth by the faculty, and I recommend these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, I award to you the associate degree with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining, and I welcome you to the company of scholars. At this time, please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Thank you, and please be seated. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees please stand? <laughs> President Jacobs, I present to you the candidates for the bachelor's degree. Each of these candidates has completed the requirements of the degree as set forth by the faculty, and I recommend these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, I award to you the bachelor's degree with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining, and I welcome you to the company of scholars. Please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Thank you. Please be seated. Will the candidates for all master's degrees please stand? <laughs> President Jacobs, I present to you the candidates for the master's degree. Each of these candidates has completed the requirements of the degree as set forth by the faculty, and I recommend these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, I award to you the master's degree with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining, and I welcome you to the company of scholars. Congratulations. Please be seated. We will now call for the graduates to be recognized individually. I invite Dr. Mark Spraker to take his place to announce the graduates. Marshals, please lead the graduates forward. We now present the Associate of Science degree graduates from the College of Education. Michelle Shania Minor Adeyema, with distinction. Anna Sophia Balestrina. Brandy Nicole Bentley. Whitney Blank. <laughs> Megan the Scrubbox. Giovanna Estefania Campos. Stephanie Nicole Riley. We now present the Associate of Science degree graduates from the University College. Daisy Carrillo. Allison Reese Cole.
Leonel Jimenez. Tiziana Nicole Marroquin. Juan Eduardo Ramirez Lopez, with distinction. Aaron Haley Ryder. Mackenzie Brooke Thomas. Miriam Guadalupe Torres, with distinction. Hannah Louise Young. We now present the Associate of Arts degree graduates from the College of Arts and Letters. Caitlin Elaine Flake. Ariana Rose Culver. Jessica Alta Garrett. Brittany Hope Hardegree with distinction. Elena Marie Hatfield. Emily Avara Pena. Ryan Alexander Jones. Kara Ann Kohler. Courtney Lynn Link. Momodu Minga. Matthew Emmanuel Davenport. Teresa Ann Roberts. Myra Salas. Margaret Rose Todd. Susan H. Warner. We now present the Associate of Science degree graduates from the College of Arts and Letters. Shelby Lee Davis. Bronwyn Starla Gay. Jasmine Maria Marilyn. Holly Elizabeth Thompson. We now present the Bachelor of Science degree graduates from the College of Education. Angela Danielle Alexander. Justin Randall Bias. Brittany Jobeth Deal. Roger Dean Deaton, Jr. Second Lieutenant Austin Lee Eldred. Ezekiel Keith Huffman. Mandy Lynn Marks. Jenna Renee Palazzi. Alexis Victoria Phillips. Sydney Sager. Second Lieutenant John Schuyler Sandusky. Robert Gregory Shamblin. Molly G. Townsend. Colby Nicole Tucker. We now present the Bachelor of Science degree graduates from the University College. Kusiba Aboji. Ashton Lee 
Bays. Daphne Elaine Hill, magna cum laude. Emily Strickland McConnell, magna cum laude. Kelly Kramer Renegal. We now present the Bachelor of Arts degree graduates from the College of Arts and Letters. Reese Patrick Bacon. Holly Jean Baker, cum laude. Kyle Lamar Bass. Kira Camille Brock. Grace Lenore Boatwright. Jake David Cantrell. Andrew David Cato. Lucas Ziliang Catterson. Courtney Hope Christian. Alexander William Corgins. Vanessa Cuellar. Alexandria Lynn Dills. Jessica Marilyn Doss. Chancy Deanne Doster. April McBrayer Ellison, summa cum laude. Vanessa Estrada, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ava Fields, magna cum laude. Mary Claire Foley, cum laude. Ethan William Fountain. Whitney Gann. David Frederick Harter. Jordan Marie Haynes. Melissa Brownwin Hilco, cum laude. Kaylee Brooke Callens, magna cum laude. Joy Lynn Holmes. Avonlea Sierra Holdsclaw. Annie Elizabeth Johnson. Connor Joyner Jones. Hannah Michael Jump. Amanda Lee Kemp. Samuel Kirby Kindle. Richard Lawrence Knight, Jr. Kaylee Renee Krinzer. Taylor Megan Martin. Charlotte Kirby McDonald, cum laude and honors program. Hayden McLeod, cum laude and distinguished military graduate. Antonella Moretti. Christina Alexia Maseri, cum laude. Marita Marina Estevez Montero. Okay. Carissa Kashev Wong. Sarah Martha Myers, summa cum laude. Tangi Marie Payne. Chloe Elizabeth Perry, magna cum laude. 
Gabrielle Mason Phillips. Bernard J. Perk. Jinya Majin Rector. Estefan David Reyes. Johnny Isaac Rice. Jack Baker Richardson. Caitlin Carter Robinson. Haley Rebecca Rogers. Giovanna Arrogant Erica Salazar. Aaron N. Skaggs, summa cum laude. Ann Finley Stockmeyer. Jefferson Bailey Tam. Noon Tran, cum laude. Chad Allen Warner. Cal Anderson Wayne. Gabrielle Lynn Willett. Erica Page Wilson. Elizabeth K. Young, Magna Cum Laude and Honors Program. Kendall Lynn Ziller, Magna Cum Laude. We now present the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Design and Technology for theater degree graduates from the College of Arts and Letters. Jacqueline Alexandria Foster, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew David Sand, Magna Cum Laude. We now present the Bachelor of Science in Film and Digital Media degree graduates from the College of Arts and Letters. Hayden Dyer Brandon. Tyler Vanley Brown. Nicholas Austin Crane. James Ali Cunningham. Georgia Ellen Dunnigan, magna cum laude. Melissa Danielle Holt. Zachary David Hood. Allison Lace Ireland. Gary Turner Ivy. Jared Cameron Cool. Marissa Rose McLaughlin. Amy Sue Wynn, Magna Cum Laude. Celia Marina Panado, Cum Laude. Nina Louise Ramos, cum laude. Joseph Spencer Tiller. Joseph William Turner. Ashla F. Vieira. We now present the Bachelor of Science degree graduates from the College of Arts and Letters. Iniola Alley. Caitlin Lily Andrews. Sarah Elizabeth Arenas. Ansley Elizabeth Arnold, magna cum laude. Alexander Stephen Arthur. Brett 
Turner Beavers. Sarah Rose Bennett. Amanda Alexandra Blankenship, cum laude. Haley Jordan Bolt. Morgan James Brookshire. Carson James Brown. Second Lieutenant Austin Lee Brumby, distinguished military graduate. Caitlin Marie Bryant. William Burgess. Eleanor Bergsteiner. Bethany Michelle Cantrell. Sandra Cardoso. Lindsay A. Castile, cum laude. Joseph Lee Cheetah. Haley Nicole Clark, cum laude. Mary Grace Clark, summa cum laude. Miranda Annette Clark. Andrea Kylie Connolly, magna cum laude. Sarah Elaine Curtis, magna cum laude. Erica Lorraine Dara. Sean Elise Dellinger. Tristan Dean Derlishan, cum laude. Nayaka Francois de Juice. Kimberly Denae Dills. Logan Zachary Donald. Laura Andrea Echoveria. Jessica Escalante. Catherine Alex Ewing. Brianna F Page Fields. Zoe Felic. Jasmine Arvierka Fortson. Edith Garcia, cum laude. Christopher M. Glinski. Marlene Gudoy, cum laude, cum laude. Tanner Robert Good. Kayla Renee Green. Peyton Kathleen Green. Sarah Catherine Gilbo. Caitlin Elise Haste. Carolyn Martin Hale. Christina Nicole Halverson. Alan James Haney, cum laude. Sierra Alexis Harris. Ashley Hernandez. Shawana Mache Hicks. Emily Elizabeth Holt. Kenneth Bryson Hunt. Ame Jake, magnum cum laude. Marissa Shannon Jones. Jordan Ashley Korn. Eric Brooks Lane. 
Isabel Victoria Lee. Ivana Lee. Brooke Marie Lewis. Second Lieutenant William Francis Liebel, cum laude. Lauren McCool. Jack Harris Malone. Kiriana Christina McLaughlin. Laura Ann McNiff. Maria Elizabeth Monsreal, cum laude. Kiana Mooney. Noika Dijali Moreau. Vanessa Suzanne Morgan. Jacob Thomas Motes. Chandler Marie Nardiello, cum laude. Jordan Denver Paramore, cum laude. Deanna Parton. Megan Marie Payne. Edith Penman. Kelly Michelle Perez. Luke David Pyatt, magna cum laude. Faith Rankin. Paige Michelle Reese. Nicholas Joseph Rhodes. Joshua Michael Richards, summa cum laude. Haley Danielle Rink, magna cum laude. Second Lieutenant Alexander Angel Rojas, cum laude. Cynthia Roman. Danae Sanz Ruiz. Morgan Kelly Sanford. Cynthia Santiago. Shikindia Shabani. Rayleigh Allen Shoup. Margie Suzanne Smith, cum laude. Samuel Britt Smith. Megan Caroline Souls. Taylor Rebecca Sparks. Cassie Lynn Stevens, magna cum laude. Molly Catherine Sullivan. Jessica Catherine Zoller. Madison Lee Taylor, cum laude. Asa Thorson, cum laude. Addison Kate Trehunt, cum laude. Gabriella Jordan Tullis, cum laude. Diana F. Verdusco. Michael Dean Walker. Second Lieutenant, Charlotte Sola Walton, magna cum laude and distinguished military graduate. Alexandra Christine Watts, cum laude. Christina Williams. Desiree Nicole Williams. 
Daniel Paul Wilson. Alexandra Lee Withrow. Yejung Yu, cum laude. Casey Charles Zavorka. Michelle Zhu Luaga. We now present the Master of Education degree graduates from the College of Education. Megan Bird. <laughs> Teresa Garcia Gomez. Kelly Hackney. Amelina Hernandez. Joyce Kinsey. Caitlin Murphy. Katie Sipsey. Megan Worthington. We now present the Master of Science degree graduates from the College of Education. Jamie Acton. <laughs> Tiffany Allen. most recent graduates of the University of North Georgia. Your hard work and dedication have been rightfully rewarded. I offer my personal congratulations to you for earning the title of graduate from this fine institution and ask that everyone please join in recognizing this graduating class. Thank you. Graduates, uh, judging from the applause, it's clear that each of you should feel proud of your accomplishments. So at this time, I would like the graduates to join me in a, sta in a standing round of applause to thank your family, friends, and others that have given you support in the pursuit of your degree.
Thank you, graduates. Graduates, you are now lifetime members of the UNG community. We are confident that you'll make your university proud wherever your journey may lead, and we look forward to hearing of your achievements. I now call on Ms. Wendy Hughley, Director of Alumni Relations, for her congratulatory remarks. Wendy. Thank you, Dr. Ormond. Graduates, congratulations. Alumni, congratulations. You are now officially a member of the University of North Georgia Alumni Association, literally. And I ask that you wear that badge proudly. We are a family. And moving forward, when one of you has a reason to celebrate, we all celebrate. And when one of us has a reason to mourn, we all mourn. It is truly my pleasure to welcome you to the family on behalf of the Board of Directors of the University of North Georgia Alumni Association and the entire UNG alumni family. If you talk to anyone who's ever graduated from North Georgia, I think that they would share, <laughs> yourselves included, that they realize that they've learned that learning has only really just begun. It's the day in and day out grind of life that often tests who you are when you leave here. Further, I think that they would share that certainly the hard work that they put into their courses was critical, critical to their success. But perhaps the most important lesson was that it was the relationships that they formed along the way that as they managed their time through school also impacted their success. In some cases, as much as their own individual efforts. I want you to do three things for me. You're almost done. I want you to do three things for me before we leave in a few minutes. First, I want you to stop one last time. Think about the people that you've met that have also graduated today. Stop looking at the monitors, look around. Look in front of you, behind you, your classmates. That special friend you met the first day you walked on campus, on any of our campuses, and you were afraid. That study group that you met through the process and you spent ungodly hours with deep into the night. I want you to think about these faculty members on the front rows up here. They've made a tremendous impact in your interest in a subject, and they often believed in you, believe it or not, more than you believed in yourself. I want you to think about how these people have impacted your life, whether directly or indirectly. You know who they are. So in addition to celebrating your degree today, I want you to celebrate the relationships that have accompanied this journey. Don't forget them. These relationships, no matter the distance, will stay with you. You're going to have certain tough days ahead. Continue to lean on these relationships to get through to the next day. Second, I want to encourage you to stay involved as alumni. Stay in touch with the University of North Georgia through social media, the UNG alumni website, your friends, etc. Consider becoming an active part of the Young Alumni Board or the Alumni Association. Participate in a shared interest group. These groups offer a great way to stay connected to your classmates, to met, network with other alumni, meet other alumni, and just a good way to give back a, a tiny bit of your time. Finally, and most important to me, I want you to be proud of your alma mater. I want you to be proud of your degree. As with all alumni, you will see changes over the years. No matter your campus, buildings will change, programs will change, Faculty will come and go, some will retire, some traditions will be lost and others will be born. And one day you too will come back with your children and you'll look around and you'll say, man, it has changed since I've been here. Some things have changed and they will change again, but the essence of North Georgia, even the North Georgia that I experienced 27 years ago, has not changed. It has not changed for the alumni that attended 50 years ago, nor has it changed for those who graduated five years ago. There's truly something special about the University of North Georgia. It is like a family. And as a graduate and a new alumni, once again, it is my deepest pleasure to welcome you, new alumni, to our family. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Hughley. One of the many things that makes the University of North Georgia such a special place is our designation as one of only six senior military colleges in the United States. 
I would now like to call forward Colonel Joshua Wright to conduct the commissioning ceremony for our military science graduates who are commissioning as second lieutenants. These graduates were recognized individually earlier in ceremonies with their family and friends. Colonel Wright. Thank you, Dr. Gorman. Will the December commissionees please stand and prepare for the oath. Ladies and gentlemen, the University of North Georgia has been producing some of the finest officers for the United States Army for more than 100 years. The oath that these officers are about to take today is the culmination of over four years of hard work and dedication. In addition to their academic studies, these officers have participated in the Corps of Cadets, leading, teaching, mentoring, and training their fellow cadets. They have culminated and completed military science classes, conducted field training exercises on their weekends, and attended their advanced cadet leader course at Fort Knox, Kentucky. They've given countless hours of their personal time in pursuit of learning how to lead our nation's finest and most precious resource, its sons and daughters who serve in our Army. These officers represent over 110 lieutenants expected to commission from UNG this year. Raise your right hand and repeat after me loudly. I state your full name. Having been appointed an officer in the United, in the United States, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office of which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our newest second lieutenants. Thank you, Colonel Wright. As we conclude today's ceremony, I want to especially thank all of the staff involved with the planning and execution of the ceremony and for making it such a special occasion. The UNG Quartet will come forward to lead us in the University of North Georgia alma mater, which, which can be found near the back of your program. Following the alma mater, please remain in place for the recessional as the faculty and graduates exit the arena. At the, at the conclusion of the recessional, please exit through the lobby doors to meet your graduates on the plaza. Thank you and please stand. From the Blue Ridge Mountain Fort Hills to the banks of Lake Lanier Memories of our alma mater We all cherish and revere Seeking courage, truth and wisdom Bars of loyalty abound University of North Georgia From diverse and solid ground Standing tall, salute your history to the blue and gold we rise. Look beyond the distant sunset, see the future in our eyes. To our school we bring you glory, may we always 